The framework for Digital X is best described by the X. Because the X means anything digital. This year became about autonomous communities. How we could build slums without bulldozing them down. Maybe the best of technology can be provided to the poorest of people. We are going to see the virtues of the digital world coming into the physical world. These seminars gave us a look through a keyhole into potential futures. I would highlight the work done by Mary Lou Jepson. One of the things I'm working on is connecting our brains more directly with each other. A monastery, an initiative that I work on, is an attempt to produce an alternative thinking space for the production of new technologies and new forms of living. Calm technology is about making technology that lasts for a long time, is maintainable at human scale, uses the least amount of attention. Technologies make us powerful, but that power can be used for good or, or bad. We have to be able to reach an ethical framework for the digital future because otherwise society it will be catastrophic. We visit Ivory Press. We also went to La Casa Encendida. As I told the scholars, they're here to help the Foster Initiative. We developed uh, an organic farming system with bamboos to create these vertical hydroponic planters. And so how can we replace walls with living organisms? Creating uh, new opportunities for vertical farming and self-sustained uh, communities. I've been able to bring my ability to design. Transform monsoons into collection devices for water and storage. That's usually damage during floods and moves it upwards into the sky. Make the switch from trying to do the things that will please your teachers to shock your teachers. A feature of the slums that we found really interesting was the really, really high density. We realized that movement is one of the greatest resources that we can rely on. How this movement could um, enhance the quality of life. So we have created a bricks that have piezoelectric devices. These piezoelectric devices can extract energy from the movement, from compressions. We are able to bring to the table ideas that might otherwise be dismissed. We can actually make plants conductive, so we can actually have a forest that is generating electricity for a slum. Every single person, every single project, there were ideas that are worth Pursuing. The grant has exposed me to a new way of thinking of architecture, looking at it from the aspect of a human perspective. Everything we do is free and open, and it's very important that people take it. Any advice to the young? Go for it. Go for your dreams. Be honest about your mistakes. Choose the problems you care about in the world. Keep your mind open to being as radical as you can be. Work twice as hard, three times as hard. And maybe listen a lot, but don't be afraid to speak. Keep going. Don't give up. It really doesn't matter if everybody thinks you're wrong, because everybody can themselves be wrong.